There it is. <laughs> the man. What's going on, you guys? This is Sir Burns a lot with Team High Cloud, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to make a Super Vulcan. This was brought up to me by Call Me Crazy in a game we played last night. Um, I was supposed to be recording that game so we would have another Super Turtle video up because I told them I would do that, but I found out today a wire was loose on my capture card, so everything I've been recording for the past week is fucking nothing. So, uh, now I have to start all the way back over, so I figured a way to pay them back for helping me out would be to give them a shout out on an idea that they told me about last night. I don't know if they came up with this idea, we're not taking any credit for it, but I haven't seen any videos up on it yet, and I thought it would be something I could share with everybody, so here we go. Uh, the idea behind a Super Vulcan is to use, um, is to use elephants as a way to help keep everything alive and it also provides an extra line of defense against infantry units or leaders. Uh, one of the biggest things that takes down a uh, Cobra stack or a Vulcan, whatever you want to call it, is infantry spam, especially ODSTs. Uh, so we account for that in a test that we do in here, but right now uh, the initial uh, starting point of the video is going to be showing you guys how to actually set it up. Um, it's not really hard to do. If you can do a regular Cobra stack, you can do this one. Um, it really doesn't take that much time, but uh, it takes a little bit of planning and it takes a lot of um, it takes a lot of cooperation with your teammates because it does take a while to get all this out, um, especially once you have to upgrade everything because you're upgrading Spartans, you're upgrading your uh, you're upgrading your Cobras, you're upgrading your elephants, like everything. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you have good teammates that you're going to be able to turtle with. Um, and this is a really good defensive thing, even if you're not in a super turtle. I would recommend it for a super turtle just because of how much stuff it takes up, like how much of your uh, unit cap it takes up. Um, I know a lot of you guys are saying, okay, well, this is deathmatch. It's going to be easy to get it out on deathmatch, but no shit. I mean, I'm not going to sit here for 45 minutes trying to just upgrade everything and get everything set up when I could do it on uh, deathmatch a lot easier. Um understand it will take a long time on standard to get this up but like i said if you have good teammates you should be able to get it up no problem um i was trying to sit there and clear out this expansion so i could take it and get unicap uh but when i played the next game uh where i had another guy uh help me with the video and everything he was really cool um i realized i could have taken the other bases that my teammates would have been on but just out of instinct i went clear in that base but it's whatever but I went ahead and got my elephant, uh, I got him set down and everything, go ahead and start making Spartans out of him, uh, so I could just go ahead and put it over there. Another reason I was clearing that base was because I needed a barracks, but then I thought about it, I was like, I don't need it for upgrades, so I can just build out the elephants. So, I realized that right there, and I was just like, okay, whatever, so I went ahead and started getting my, uh, other elephant coming over this way. Go ahead and slap a Spartan in that one, get another one building, and go ahead and get this guy running up here so we can go ahead and get the show on the road here. Um, you are going to need a Hornet, just like with the other Cobra stacks, you're going to need at least one air unit or something to get in the way of the Pelican when it tries to drop the Cobras in, but it's the same situation as before where you just try to drop them one on top of the other, don't lock them down until you have them all set up, and then you just highlight them, and then just Y ability all at one time, they'll just lock down. Um, but really, the whole point behind the Elephant um, from what I'm looking at it, because I didn't know that you could do this, but uh, Crazy and Rabbit Man were telling me about it and everything, so I looked and I didn't see any videos on it, so like I said, I wanted to put something up, but the whole the whole thing behind it, uh, the biggest part is giving your Cobras a little bit of extra defense against like a Mac Blast or something like that, um, or a Carpet Bomb if they want to try to Carpet Bomb your Vulcan, but, um, and it really soaks up uh, some of the effectiveness out of canister shells when people try to come up and canister your stuff. Um, the other thing it does is it lets you pour, it lets you build uh, flamethrowers or any kind of infantry right there. Uh, another one of the biggest things that takes it out, like I said earlier, is going to be the Marines. So um, ODSTs are really a problem against uh, the Vulcans and everything. I know if anybody uh, watching this has done a Super Turtle, they have probably had somebody come across their Cobras with ODSTs and just raped them, and then you have to start from scratch. Well, this is going to be a way that you're going to be able to defend that. The first thing it's going to be able to do is it's going to have the defense turrets and it's going to be able to mow down infantry, especially once it starts getting stars. The thing's ridiculous with power. Once you get the Spartan in it, get the Spartan fully upgraded, fully upgrade those things and let them battle for a little bit and get stars, it's going to be massive. Um, the other thing it lets you do is it lets you pump out flamethrowers, 
like I said earlier, and that's going to be able to help you defend against that. It'll help you defend against hunters. It'll help you defend against the Arbiter. Um, pretty much any infantry unit that would normally pose a threat to your Cobras, now it's not going to. But you see there that I skip forward to the next uh, section of the game and everything, and this is the first test. We tested against five Scorpion tanks, and um, you're going to see here that it's just going to mow them down. It's not going to be able to do anything at all. Um, and he used this canister and everything, and you see there it kind of soaks it up. Something else I want to mention before it gets too late in the video. Uh, I did not get all the stars on him, like from killing units, getting the veterancy all the way up. So take that into consideration. It could be a lot stronger than what it is. These guys are just stock. Uh, the only veterancy they get is from what we did in the test, and that's by no means anywhere near full star veterancy. Um, the second test that we have is... Um, I believe it's against 10 ODSTs because normally you get that first 10 ODSTs and then from there you can drop a D-bomb. But fending off against these first ODSTs is going to be the big thing. You see there he used his grenades. And I go ahead and start using my flamethrowers now and go ahead and start pumping them out. Uh, the healing spine kind of gets in the way, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay at all um, other than the flamethrowers on that one side kind of get stuck. But you see there the machine guns with the flamethrowers, you're going to be able to take out any infantry that you want. Um, it's going to be really good to help you uh, defend against Spartans that might try to jack one of your Cobras that doesn't have a Spartan in it. Um, but you see there that I was able to completely fend everything off, and I don't think I lost a single Cobra. And that, I mean, that's the end of that test. The next test that we're going to do, I believe, is against uh, three Spartan tanks, because the dreaded three Spartan tanks want to come up and just roll on you and everything. So I go ahead and send my flamethrowers up that I made for the last test. Go ahead and get them killed by the tanks so the flamethrowers have nothing to do with this next test i just wanted to go ahead and get them out of the way so he's just going to go ahead and mow them down he used his canny and he's gonna i tell him to wait for his canny to come back up so when he comes in he has a fresh canny to use on the vulcan um with the spartan placement you can really do it however you want uh you could put all three of them in the middle or you could do like i did and put uh one in each elephant and one in the spartan the reason i put them in the elephant is because the elephant has pretty good defense and you put the spartan in there it makes the machine guns a lot better um granted your cobras and stuff need it too but i mean if you put all three of them on your cobras and stuff it's going to be all right but your elephants will probably die the elephants would be the hardest thing to reset rather than your cobras you can reset the cobras if you need to but the elephants would be a bitch you'd have to completely remove the whole thing but you see here I believe the tanks are going to be coming in soon I flashed my mag blast to just kind of freak them out but you see there that it just completely ran over those tanks um just one round from the Vulcan itself kills all the tanks and then the Spartans are just there they're going to get chewed up by the um the machine guns you see over there on the left side of the screen he's trying to jack that Cobra uh this is the whole thing with the machine gun the machine gun is going to be able to keep stuff like that from happening um and also the flamethrowers but you see here he did end up killing i believe he killed one cobra and one's really close to dying but now they're going to heal up so i just killed three spartan tanks and lost one cobra keep in mind that the longer the game goes on you're going to get a lot more veterancy than that so you're going to be fully starred and that's not going to it's probably not even going to affect you if you run into some tanks like that but you see here he's running his hornet up and now we're doing the mac blast test a quad mac and you see there he after the smoke clears, you see he did kill the Cobras, except for the two that are off to the sides and the one in the middle. So the one in the middle made it, but like I just said for the last test, if you had full stars on all of that, and it won't be hard to do if you have team support, um, you would easily be able to stand up against that. Um, because I would normally say to run this uh, with another Cutter player um, and a Chieftain, uh, just because the Chieftain will help pull stuff and stun stuff, which will really help you. Um, but you also need the Covenant for the healers and the vampires. The vampires are going to be good for helping keep this alive against uh, your air units and everything. And the healers are going to keep the Cobra stack alive indefinitely. And you're going to be able to keep getting stars. And like I said, all this stuff, I think the two Cobras on the very far sides, those aren't even included in the Vulcan. But I was just showing you, you could do something like that where you could put them off to the sides a little bit to help you. Um, but yeah... W after you get your stars and everything, you're not really going to have any problems. I'm probably going to do a uh, another video on it to prove to you guys, if you guys want me to, uh, the effectiveness if you have all the stars. So that's the end of the video. Um, but anyway, uh, try out the Super Vulcan, see if you guys like it. I want to give a shout out to uh, Sir Sweats a Lot 69. Uh, he helped me make this video. I told him I'd uh, give him a shout out at the end of the video. If you guys want to go add him, play with him a little bit, he's pretty cool. Um, 
And uh, like I said, thanks for the idea for the video, uh, Rabbit Man, and uh, Call Me Crazy. Um, if you guys want to add them too, they're always looking for people to play with. Um, and that's about it. So uh, you guys take it easy and stay in touch for the next video. I'm going to start doing another series. I hope you guys like it. Um, it's going to take a little bit of work to do, but it should be here soon. All right, you guys take it easy.